Back in the PA Live kitchen. He's becoming quite a regular here on PA Live. Chef Hiram Quintana of mm -hmm. Tamaqua is here. Now we have burgers and shrimp in the kitchen, and there's a reason for that, right? There's a big reason for that. There's a national food calendar yeah. that we, you know, it's my rules. So, you know, for a lot of chefs and a lot of uh, restaurant owners, there's a whole calendar that tells you specifically what day every is. Day's a holiday. Every day's a holiday. Yeah. Every day's a food holiday. Today's hamburger. So, and it was fried shrimp. I like them both. So, yeah, we're just right? going to put doesn't? them both together in a burger. We're going to do a Together. surf and turf burger. Oh, a surf and turf coast. burger. Yeah, we're going to make idea. a nice little creamy coleslaw that we're going to mm. top the burger with, some nice Swiss cheese. We're going to have a nice, uh, we got an 80-20 ground chuck. Okay. Patty, I put some, I bread it together, some like nice fried shrimp earlier. So yeah. we're going to fry those up and then we'll do some fried shrimp. And I also got a couple potatoes there that we'll do some gopher at potatoes. Mm, also great. And look at these and buns, the pretzel buns. Pretzel buns. A little can't. salty flavor. Yeah. Oh, I love a good pretzel bun. Looks so delicious. And there's lots of colors here, lots of vegetables. So mm -hmm. making it healthy. Now, what did you just put in that? So what I have here is a little bit of red wine vinegar, a little bit of apple cider vinegar mixed okay. together for the coleslaw. Just kind of give it a little creamy consistency that I'm going to put into the coleslaw that's okay. going to offset on the burger. Because not only am I going to put the creamy coleslaw to offset that, I'm going to make a nice little tartar sauce to hit it in the bottom also as well with the Swiss Ooh. cheese. So it's going to combine it together oh. with a little bit of fire. All these flavors. The fire is right here. John Paul, he's a chef out of Mississippi. This is a, a ghost reaper. Oh, um, that's hot. hot sauce. This is a that's hot gonna sauce. That's going to be hot. Ghost Reaper? Yeah, we're only going to add a little tablespoon of that to the, uh, okay. to the tartar sauce. Okay. Little, little tiny bit. kick. Just a little, little tiny kick okay. on top of it. But Good. then uh, we'll put it all together with the pretzel roll. It should come together. So nice. this is like some gourmet burger shrimp. Looks delicious. So yes. how long is this going to take to, you know, complete well, this process? Well, once I get the, well, I'm working with the Gunter Willem, the, the you see the, the grill pan here, so this is going to work okay. perfectly. Um, I'm just going to give it a sear for about two and a half minutes on each side of the burger and then close okay. it and melt the cheese on it. So it's going to be a quick Ooh, fire type okay. of thing. So by the time we get to the last segment, that'll be the last thing I'll put on. For now, I'll just get with the components. I'll get the tartar sauce together. I'll get the coleslaw together. Get the shrimp fried. That way we can put it all together at the end. So you get everything else together. ready so that mm -hmm. when the burger's done, you can put it all on there nice and hot, That's ready it. to go. All ready to roll. So, All right, delicious. Mm -hmm. and, and talk about uh, the business you have in Tamaqua. People can stop in there. So a private, private chef and a caterer. So basically, if they get a l in touch with me online, um, I, I have all the information, anything from a wedding all the way down to a party of two. So it's pretty much anything that has to do with the field of cooking. So that's kind of what I do. All right, so wonderful. You can check like them out that, online, so. chefhiramquintana.com. We'll be back in the kitchen for more dinner and dessert in just a little bit. But for now, we're going to send it to Dave.